The monopoly rights of forest departments in their trade in many states have become illegal. Rights holders have the rights, either as individuals or as cooperatives or federations, to undertake individual or collective processing, value addition, and marketing of minor forest produce. Communities have used these rights to earn revenue from trade in minor forest produce such as bamboo and tendu leaf. In some areas, the Gram Sabhas have made strict rules to regulate any indiscriminate harvesting and other ecologically destructive practices and put in place long-term plans to regenerate degraded forest areas. Apart from the recognition and vesting of these rights, the Forest Rights Act also set up, as we have learnt, democratic procedures for decision-making at the level of settlements, with the Gram Sabha playing a central role. The management of forests is enshrined through Gram Sabhas. It is very much possible within sanctuaries and national parks to bring forests and Adivasis closer. The main feature of this law, which is that the Gram Sabha will decide how to conserve and manage forests and the role of Section 4, Subsection 1, Clause E committees, that is the Community Forest Management Committees with 10 to 15 members from the villages that will make management plans. All of this can reduce the conflict that the Indian Forest Act of 1927 had created.